All right, it's uh, Doug and Dave back again. Sorry, that was my chair here. Uh, Doug and Dave back again, and we're continuing to go through the UAT uh, area here, and we're actually going to look at the required pages that one would need to set up. And uh, I guess basically we're looking at the dashboard here. So what's next, Dave? All right, so what we're going to do is go ahead now and set up our basic home page and our basic blog index page. Um, a typical WordPress blog will show a list of all of your blog posts on the home page, but for this theme, you could use that if you wanted to, but it's not really going to utilize the power of the custom review that we had set up. So what we're going to do first is we're going to come into pages here and we're going to create a new page. So we're just going to title this page home page. And then if you come over into the right hand column here under page attributes and template, if you click that, you want to select the home page template for the optimal UAT display. And then we're going to go ahead and publish that. Now, it's important to publish this for right now, even if you want to have your website in full draft mode, because when we go into the reading settings to set what our home page displays, it'll only give you options of publish pages to do that. Um, so once we do this, you can always come back in here and change it to draft if you would like. But for the setup phase, you want to make sure it's published. So next we're going to add a new page here. And this is for your basic blog, which could be educational articles or anything like that that, that you would like. So it's loading up. Just taking a minute. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we'll call this educational articles. And then we're going to go ahead and publish this as well. All right, now that we have our basic home page and our articles page set, we're going to come over into settings and then reading. And this is something that many of you may have already done before, but we're going to click on front page displays a static page and we're going to set the front page to our new home page and we're going to set the post page to our educational articles page and then go ahead and click save changes. And that's all you need to do and now I'm not sure how much change will be here since we haven't added any content yet but now the, the home page is going to show the basic home page that you set up later and the articles page will show the articles. So if we come into here and go back to pages and then go back into home page, you'll see it's labeled front page and then educational articles is labeled posts page, which that's basically your blog archive. So we'll come into home page here and you can see some new fields a little bit different from your typical page fields in WordPress. So you can type in a main heading and this is what will get displayed in the H1 tag on it. And then just like in the drill demo site, you have a home page introduction, which is full width at the, top, at the top of the screen. And the point of this being full width rather than having your sidebar right up at the top is to help you get as much quality text above the fold in the beginning. The sidebar elements are usually a lot less important than the main text of your page. So this just really is part of the optimization that I did to really help that content stand out at the top. And then you can see here we can add uh, one of the sliders, tables, and drag and drop tools after we create them. Um, we can add in the, the main area down below that goes next to the sidebar, and that's basically it for this.